All right, in this question, we're given the volume of an atom, which is just going to be one sphere. And we're going to, it's a metal, and it crystallizes into cubic closest packing. So we re need to remember that's a face centered cube. And we're given the density is 8.77 grams per centimeter cubed. What's the molar mass of the metal? Okay, a couple other things that we know. Because it's face centered cubed, we know that there are four atoms in one unit cell. So that's going to be helpful to us. We also know that the when we're going to need if we need to uh, use figure out what the radius is or the edge using Pythagorean theorem we know that um, a the square root of 2 a being the edge equals 1 2 3 4 radii so we're just going to write those things down because we know them right off the bat and um, so we need to figure out what is the, vol um, the molar mass. So let's do units of molar mass. That would be grams per mole. Okay, so I'm just going to work up to that point. Um, do I have anything with grams? Well, yes, I've got the density. So I know grams per centimeter cubed. So that's going to be helpful. I want grams on top. Now I want to get rid of centimeters cubed. Now the question is, this centimeters cubed represents a certain uh, quantity. And we have two different things with volume here. We've got volume of the atom, which is one thing. But then we have volume of the unit cell, which is something else. And the volume of the unit cell includes all this empty space. Well, when we, when we calculate density, we're including that empty space. So that's going to be the volume of the unit cell. So I need to figure out what is that volume. Uh, I want that on the bottom. I want to figure out the volume of one unit cell in centimeters cubed. That would get me rid of centimeters cubed. Next, um, I want to figure out how to get to moles. Well, I know from up here that I have in one unit cell, I've got four atoms. I know that because I have face centered cubed. Well, now I know that I can go from atoms to moles. So I'm going to have uh, one mole. And how many atoms is that? Well, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So what we've uh, figured out, and don't forget the density is given as 8.77. So really, what we have to figure out here, the trick is what is the volume of the unit cell? That's, that's what we have to figure out. And that's the tricky part. That's actually going to take some time. So... Um, what do I know? Well, I'm given, I'm given, uh, I'm given the volume of the atom, and I need to figure out the volume of the unit cell. So uh, I, I don't have a formula that goes from the volume of the atom to the volume of the unit cell, but I do have this. I know how to go from radius to volume of the unit cell. So that's what I want to figure out. I want to know the volume of the unit cell. And the way I'm going to figure that out is I'm going to, I'm going to need to know the edge. Because if I know A cubed, I know volume of the unit cell. And how do I figure out the edge? Well, I need to know the radius. So I'm just working backwards here. And I know the radius because I know that A the square root of 2 equals 4r. And in order to find the radius, I have to start with the volume of the atom. So knowing all of those things, and then of course this is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I usually start these problems by just writing everything down 
and then what's the thing I need to know. So I'm going to start with the volume of the atom. I know that is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Again, I can't just plug the volume of the atom here because the atom and the unit cell are two different things. So V equals 3 fourths, uh, V times 3 fourths equals r cubed. So we're going to take 7.24 times 10 to the minus 24th. over pi. I recommend you do this in your own calculator so that um, you get the right answer because we don't want to make a math error and mess up the whole thing. And this is centimeters cubed. All right. Let's move that up. We're solving for radius. So we take the cube root and radius equals 1.20 times 10 to the minus 8 centimeters. I want to point something out to you. This magnitude, the radius, and the edge are usually on the order of 10 to the minus 8. So this is going to help you uh, know if you got the right answer or if you're at least in the ballpark. If you get a weird answer, then like 10 to the minus 12th or something, you know you probably did it wrong. So now we're going to solve for, we've got the radius, we knew the volume, now we're going to solve for the edge. A equals 4R over the square root of 2. And so my edge equals 3.39 times 10 to the minus 8. And then the last step here is to cube that. That's going to give me the volume of my atom, which I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry, volume of the unit cell. And so that equals 3.91 times 10 to the minus 23rd centimeters cubed. And uh, by the way, again, that 10 to the minus 23 is a magnitude that tells me I probably did it right. The volume of the unit cell is usually in that order of magnitude. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and put it right up here. All right, calculating all of that out, multiplying the density times volume of the unit cell, dividing by four atoms, multiplying by Avogadro's number, and we get an answer of 51.6 grams per mole. So that's quite an extensive problem, and it's really in important to remember that volume of, this, of the atom is different from volume of the unit cell.